Hello students, in this video we'll see how to invert Laplace transforms by the power series method. To invert a Laplace transform, Taylor expand the function with respect to 1 over s. and use the fact that the Laplace transform of t to the n is n factorial over s to the n plus 1. So let's see an example of a complicated function that can be inverted using this technique that doesn't appear in standard tables. Let's find the inverse Laplace transform of the natural log of 1 plus 1 over s. So to do this, we'll need to use the Taylor expansion for the natural log. So let's recall the geometric sum formula for Taylor series, namely that 1 over 1 minus x is the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n. I can use this formula and say that 1 over 1 plus x dx integrated will be the natural log of 1 plus x. So if I replace this x that is negative with a positive x, we'll be able to deduce that the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n x to the n will be 1 over 1 plus x. I will use this series expansion in my integral. So my integral will now become the integral of the sum n goes from 0 to infinity negative 1 to the n x to the n dx. I will integrate each term and conclude that the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 is the Taylor expansion for the log of 1 over x. Now I will use this fact to return to the Laplace problem. We will use the fact that the natural log of 1 plus 1 over s will now be equal to this sum with x replaced with 1 over s will be the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, and then I'll have a 1 over n plus 1, and a 1 over s to the n plus 1. Now, as we saw in previous videos, I will introduce an n factorial on the top and an n factorial in the bottom without changing the sum. And what I see is I see that this will be equal to the sum n goes from 0 to infinity, of negative 1 to the n. Now I have an n plus 1 and an n factorial in the denominator. That will be an n plus 1 factorial. And now I have this term over here, which is n factorial over s to the n plus 1. Now I will inverse Laplace transform the pink terms. When I inverse Laplace transform this series, I will have the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n over n plus 1 factorial. The inverse Laplace transform of n factorial over s to the n plus 1 is t to the n. Now I see that my series starts at 0. So this is a Taylor series of a common function. We have to manipulate the series a little bit in order to figure out how to, what, to represent this function. So what we can do is we can say, we can write this in the following way, as 1 over t, the sum, n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. And now this looks close to e to the negative t, but the index is off. So I will shift the index. When I shift the index, I will see that this is 1 over t, the sum 
n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n plus 1, which will add an extra negative sign. So I'll have to pull a negative sign out to compensate for that. t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. Now, this is the Taylor expansion of e to the negative t that is shifted over by one unit. So what I will have here is I will say that this will be 1 over t and then 1 minus e to the negative t to account for the fact that I started at 0 and that shifts the index over to 1. So by inverse Laplace transforming the power series, I was able to find the inverse Laplace transform of a non-standard function. Thank you very much.